Good morning, Virgo. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. So this is going to be a video on the second half of September. I'm deciding to do it early. That way, you know, you guys can hear the messages earlier and it'll give you more time to really take in the energy. This could also um, leap into the first half of the <laughs> of the energy so take it as it resonates all right so let's see what virgo is going through for the second half of september all right i'm going to be using three decks i'm going to use the gaia oracle cards the chakra cards and the rider weight deck whoa all right you could be having some burdens Virgo, maybe there's something that's like really uh, heavy on you and is a huge burden for you to take. So you, whoa, okay. I wasn't expecting this book to be here, but you know, I just got it yesterday and I definitely want to start reading that. So, but yeah, there definitely could be some burdens in your life that you want to leave in the past and let go of because it's not serving you anymore the energy just isn't there all right you could it could be with a uh, king of cups cancer pisces scorpio and it's funny the tower came out right after that so maybe it wasn't a strong foundation to begin with and now you're needing to make a decision on what you want to do and yeah it looks like you're not feeling left out in the cold anymore you're feeling like yourself again uh things may be a little bit unbalanced but that's just because you don't want to take action towards anything at this moment because you just got a somewhat decent balanced place even though you're a bit unbalanced but you're still more balanced than you were all right you're being very nurturing maybe you have a like children or like, you could be a mother figure or a mother. Um, but, yeah, you're definitely needing to make a decision. What is this decision on? It could be between a king of pentacles. Oh, it could be a court decision um, because someone wasn't grounding themselves and justice is being served about this situation. Yeah, and you're manifesting and wishing for things to be better and you're listening to your intuition a lot more during this time. All right. Knight of Cups. There's nothing really being offered to you. But doors are opening. So you don't really see things being offered to you. But you know that doors will be opening for you. And it will bring you peace. There won't. It doesn't look like there's going to be a new start. Or maybe that's the fact that. You know, there, because there's no new start, it's bringing you peace. It's bringing you happiness, and it's making you a, making you decide a head over heart decision in this overall. Because you're not waiting for them to contact you. You're bringing balance to yourself, and take you're not taking action towards them. But you're bringing the balance towards you. All right, all right. So let's see what Gaia has to say for you guys. What does the Gaia Oracle cards have to say for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? If you haven't entered in the giveaway, we are at 92 subscribers. We are so close to getting 100, 100 subscribers. And once I um, hit 100 subscribers, I'll be doing a video on me pulling a um, subscribe like a name out of a hat and it will be the subscriber that put their name in the comments section below um, this will be the uh, winnings all right it's a spray it's a <laughs> sage spray so basically it keeps all the spirits away and one of my good friends on Twitter uh, made it so I decided to you know help her channel out or help her shop out by promoting it in my description and on my YouTube channel. All right. 
But uh, yeah, so if you would like to go check out what other stuff, she, like what other cool stuff she has on her uh, Etsy store, you can. Um, it, the link will be in the description. All right. So let's see what Gaia has to say for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. So you could be dealing with um, a lot of fire energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Um, a little bit of earth, but, uh, yeah. So, peace, yeah, you're definitely getting peace in this whole situation, this whole outcome that's coming towards you and realizing what, you know, how to get your peace and how to make yourself balanced, all right? Someone is thinking of you, and it's very loving thoughts, very, um, uh, sympathetic or not sympathetic but it could be like uh you know maybe they feel sorry for you or but like i don't know i just feel like this loving energy coming to like someone wanting to love you and you got sacred uh sacred earth mother a message of love so maybe someone will be offering to start a relationship with you pretty soon and it's going to help you achieve your goals in life maybe to like have a family and to really focus on your dream you know whatever your achievements are it's this uh connection is going to help you achieve your goals all right this sounds nice virgo this sounds really nice all right so what chakra cards are you embodying at this moment in time virgo you could be dealing with a libra but, uh, yeah, there is a lot of balance cards here, so it makes sense. Very indecisive energy, but needs to make a decision. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, so we're just going to use two cards in, for now. So we got Divine Wisdom. And psychic ability. So for some of you, you could be psychic and you are getting wisdom from spirit helping you along on this journey in order to achieve your goals and to achieve your life's purpose uh, throughout this um, whole experience that you are experiencing at this moment in time. All right. So this can be throughout September. So just take it as it resonates. It can happen anytime during September, or it can be like a little bit after, like into October. All right. So the chakras here are the heart chakra, the third eye chakra, the soul chakra. Um, you got a little bit of root chakra here when it comes to the earth energy. So you just got to ground yourself. And uh, I know like grounding yourself is like kind of hypothetical, but you got all you have to do is like walk on some grass and you will ground yourself. But you're not going to be able to truly ground yourself if you aren't putting in the work, you know. So in order to really ground yourself, you need to like, um, like last night I went to this, um, uh, it was the crystal bowls thing. And what what the guy, that's where I got this book by uh, Reese Thomas. But, um, and you guys should definitely go check him out. He's like amazing. Like he, he does the crystal bowls. He teaches uh, medical energy. Um, but uh, yeah, he, uh, I don't know, he did these, uh, he, he used the crystal bowls. And then he just started, like, um, it just, like, put you in, like, a trance type deal. And it, like, made you feel, like, uh, all these energies that's going throughout your body and into your aura field and stuff like that. And it's really amazing. I suggest all of you should try it because it is something that really helps me and really calms me down because, like, I don't know. I just enjoy, you know, that peaceful experience. I, I'm sure you guys will too. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's what you guys are really 
looking for. You just want to ground yourself and be peaceful. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for your messages for today. I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do want to enter in the giveaway, just comment down below. I will be picking a winner as soon as I hit 100, 100 subscribers. So eight more subscribers to go. And, yeah, namaste.